Crowd is ready. I get annoyed every summer when I see this contest in New York. This is just no way to treat a hot dog. You wouldn't catch us doing this in the Northwest. It's disrespectful, man. Chad Rattray has nothing but respect for hot dogs. Oh, man, they pay the mortgage. Put me through school. He's been selling them in the same downtown Spokane location for nine years. No crowd for you? He gets it. Oh, well, you want to savor every bite, man. You can't... You can't dunk them in water just to make it easier to slide 68 dogs down your esophagus in under 10 minutes like champion Joey Chestnut did. A hot dog deserves better. Hey, thanks for stopping. Even Chad's customers get that. It, it kind of threatens the hot dog's existence. Yeah. <laughs> it's more than that. A hot dog is an American icon. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, Fourth of July, apple pie, hot dogs. So guys like six-time champ Takeru Kobayashi are not only disrespecting the hot dog, they're disrespecting America. I think they're insane. What's more, I like to think we're a little more dignified in the way we eat a hot dog. We do provide the gentleman dog, though. Many of Chad's customers are white-collar workers who have to go back to the office. A smidgen of, uh, of their choices on the bun prior to the application of the hot dog yeah. so as not to you know endanger anything the thing that really steams me is that back east they think we're disrespecting the dog if we put any condiment besides mustard on it i go through twice as much ketchup as i do mustard you know let it be said that out west you have the freedom to load up your dog in any way you choose folks from seattle want, want cream cheese so I, have, I carry cream cheese for anyone coming over from Seattle basically. Okay, we can live with that. I carry peanut butter. Got a, two or three people that, that want peanut butter. But then some things should just be illegal. The bottom line for Chad is the bottom line and the truth is that when people see this on ESPN, his sales actually go up. Kobayashi and Chestnut go at it. Everyone gets hungry, I guess. Since Chad says that the contest is okay, we're going to stage a little contest here. Uh, photographer Tim Olson, come on around here. We're going to see who can scarf down the most of these dogs in 60 seconds. You ready? I am. All right. You guys ready? Yes. Ready, set, go. You know, I just can't disrespect this dog. I'm going to say Tim wins. Rick Lukens, KXLY 4HD News.